Background subtraction is one of the user requested algorithms. It processes an input video frame by frame and separates the moving regions from the static background, returning a foreground mask. BPI implements the Gaussian mixture model technique on both CPU and CUDA backends with an optional static background output and shadow detection. The image histogram and the image histogram equalization are important operations which are often needed in more complex pipelines. VPI implements them on both CPU and CUDA backends with great performance. VPI's image histogram on CPU, for instance, is around 3.3 times faster than OpenCV. And image histogram equalization on CUDA is 3.8 times faster than OpenCV. Now on to the new dense optical flow. It's used for motion detection and object tracking. Currently, VPI only implements it on the new NVENC backend, which is available only on Jetson 8ZX Xavier devices. There are some caveats, though. The output resolution is one-fourth of the inputs, and only NV12 block linear image sequences are supported. It has great performance. For instance, uh, 1080p inputs, uh, low quality runs at 1.7 milliseconds per frame and high quality at 3.1 milliseconds per frame. The Laplacian Pyramid Generator is another algorithm implemented based on user request. It's used for image decomposition into frequency bands, which is sometimes a required intermediate stage in the more complex pipelines. VPI implements it on CUDA and CPU backends with optional output of the intermediate Gaussian pyramid representation used. The inverse operation, Laplacian reconstruction, is planned for a future VPI release. The existing serial disparity estimation algorithm got spiced up. VPI 1.1 now has a new CUDA implementation that yields better output quality with less noise. It supports up to 256 disparity levels from the maximum of 64 levels supported before. This allows depth estimation of objects closer to the camera. On top of it, it's 2.2 times faster than the previous implementation when measured on a Jetson AGX Xavier. This new implementation can also output a confidence map and detect invalid disparities, usually due to occlusions. There is also a new PVA NVENC VIC backend, which uses these three accelerators together to es estimate the disparity with better quality, along with confidence map output and detection of invalid disparities, just like the new CUDA backend. It's only available on Jetson AGX Xavier devices. And uh, finally, as a bonus, uh, the stereo sample got updated with color output and support for the new PVA NVENC VIC backend. Last but not least, VPI now can be used in Python scripts. We will dedicate the rest of this webinar for it.